Hey everybody, so I want to talk to you about Baker Mayfield. He's now the starting quarterback for the Rams in the NFL. Uh, of course, you know he started off this year with the Carolina Panthers. They got rid of him. He went to the Rams when their quarterback went down, and he's been actually he's been a good he's been a good acquisition for them. So the last game that he played that he started, the Rams played the Denver Broncos at home. Okay, and Baker led them to a 51 to 14 victory. Of course, the Denver Broncos quarterback is Russell Wilson, and he's going through some tough times right now. Here's some things I just want to say a few things about Baker Mayfield that I saw in that game that whether the Rams are going to keep him or whether another team's looking at Baker, he looked to have some value, still some value uh, from what I saw, um, still with the Rams, that you might not have saw when he was with Carolina. So Baker went 24-28. So right there, that's great. That that pass percentage is great. 24-28. I mean, he's up, he's up around 90% pass complete ratio that game. 230 yards pass yards passing, two touchdowns he had in the first half. He almost had a third. He threw it to the tight end and they got and he got stopped in, you know, inside the five. Some things I saw. Baker, because the Rams offense is a kind of like a, they run that um, outside zone action or zone action. There's always a bootleg component off of that. When I say bootleg, I mean, say the Rams run the ball to the left and they establish that run to the left where their running back gets the ball off the left side of the line. The bootleg would be the quarterback faking that and running out to the right. So faking that same run action to the left and keeping the ball to the right with patterns coming back across the field. And in the quarterback, Baker, who has mobility, has the ability to throw the patterns or he can run the ball. You can do the same thing to the left. You can run the run action to the right, fake it, and then go back out the other way. That's what we call the bootleg action. Baker gives the Rams that component because of his mobility and his foot and his feet. And you could actually see in that Denver game, the defensive ends of the Broncos were hesitant to chase the play down if the play was going to the right. Um, the defensive end to the backside was hesitant to chase it down because they knew that Baker has the ability to escape off the back off the bootleg action. And he hit several passes that game off of bootleg action. So any team that runs bootleg, Baker can run that. What I saw is he's getting the ball out of his hands quickly. So that tells me a couple things. Baker, he understands... He understands the route trees or the patterns that they're calling, the play, the concepts that they're calling. He also has, he's starting to grasp the playbook better. But he's also like he, his pre-snap read. So when he comes up to the line, he's recognizing what coverage, what coverages the, the defenses is, are giving him. And based on the coverage, he knows in the passing route that's called, he knows where he's going to go with the ball kind of. He's getting the ball like as soon as when they take the shotgun snap, he's taking that ball and he's as soon as he hits his hand, two steps, he's throwing it. He's getting rid of the ball fast. He's getting the ball to their playmakers really quickly, which is allows them to make plays. And a lot it, he's getting it to them before the defense is able to really react. So they're able to, they're able to, he's hitting them, and he's also hitting them in stride. Like hit, his ball placement is really is really good right now. He knows where his people are. He knows like where all the different options are on the routes. The reason why I can say that is because sometimes when he gets the ball, you'll see him look all the way to the right, and he'll kind of come back across the field like this, and he might hit what looks like to be his third or fourth option on that route. Okay? So these are some things I see with Baker Makefield. Um, he, he did look good in the last game versus the Broncos. Um, he looks like he still has some value. Looks like he still has some... Some some stuff left in the tank that he may not have looked like he had when he was in Carolina. So that's just a quick video I want to make about Baker Mayfield. Um, he still looks like he has some value in the right situation, the right offense. If he can go somewhere that runs a similar offense to the Rams that will use his ability and not maybe just rely on him to be the be the guy, um, looks like he can he can have some value to a team. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and message. Peace.